Hi, it's John. It's uh, 27th of um, May 2014 and uh, I'm out on this roadside and there's, um, as you can see, Red Campion and the, um, you might see in the background there's some cow parsley. A bit further up you won't see is some hogweed. I'll do a little video in a minute of the hogweed. Um, and then half distance you may be able to see some thistles and uh, the thistles aren't in flower yet. But one thing that uh, fascinated me when I was on the farm, working on the farm, was the succession of blossom. And you could all you could tell the time of year by the um, by the what, what flowers were out, or the, what flowers in the hedgerow. You know, the first one would be the um, the cherry plums, and those sorts of things, and and then coming through to uh, blackthorn, and then the uh, hawthorn. And the same with the woodland flowers, you know, like the primrose is very early, and and they all have their time. Which is all very useful for the bees, isn't it? There's two sorts of hogweed there, I'd say. I'm not an expert on hogweed, um, but in the foreground that's hogweed, and and I think some of those hogweed type things are very poisonous. Um, you know, as kids we used to sort of make pea shooters out of them, um, but we could have killed ourselves. Well, how often could you kill yourself as kids? It's a wonder anybody survives, really. There we go. Here's a lesson for anybody starting wildlife photography. Start on things which move fairly slowly. Um, I just noticed this snail on the thistle. <laughs> oh, we don't, well, he obviously isn't going to get prickled. Um, so, so that's a light stripy one, isn't it? And then this one here, look at that. Ah! That one's a sort of fawny colour. They're not the terrible snails that uh, get on the vegetable plot. I can tolerate those. I'm on a road and I'm just out by Lion's Gate. Um, Lion's Gate's down that way. And you go around here and you get to Sir Nabus, where the Sir Nabus giant is. This is the A352. And there's uh, three different ways you can get to Dorchester from, from Middlemarsh. There's this A352, there's the Piddle Valley, and then there's a, a road in between the two. Nice little scene here. Buttock, field of buttercups, I like, I like, I like the yellow, well, contrast of colours. This delicate little hedgerow flower is called Herb Robert, and you wouldn't really even notice it unless you were told about it. Insignificant little weed. And here's another woodland hedgerow plant wild garlic. Now if you're driving along the road and there's a wood full of this you can smell it and you get it all on your tongue. It comes right in the car. And this has got a little uh, white flower but I saw one yesterday and had a little pink flower. And I think that was some sort of wild onion. If um, this uh, This, this hedge and, and, and this tree could tell a story. That would be quite a tale, wouldn't it? Look at it. It's very old. It's been uh, cut about quite a lot.